So James Gunn's The Suicide Squad underperformed at the box office, but it was the second most streamed movie of the year on HBO Max. Will all this still help James Gunn make more DC projects? Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. First, we're going to talk about The Suicide Squad, and James Gunn had apparently a different ending for that movie. Idris Elba talks about a prequel Bloodsport vs. Superman movie. Apparently James Gunn is not done with the DC villain verse and he's exploring more movies there. One of them he thinks is not a bad idea, which is Justice League vs. The Suicide Squad. And finally, Jason Momoa had something to say about possibly making a Justice League 2. Let's talk about The Suicide Squad, because it is the biggest movie that came out this weekend. Even though it underperformed, but it was the second most streamed movie on HBO Max. During the press junkets, James Gunn has a lot to say about this movie and future possible projects. In fact, James Gunn did say that he actually changed the ending of The Suicide Squad. This is what he had to say. This could be a spoiler, by the way, so move on to the next thing if you don't want to hear any of this. There was a change. The original ending that I pitched, one main character died, and one main character did not die. And the main character who died was Ratcatcher 2, Gun told Variety. She was so sweet. I just felt like it was just too dark. Not that we don't love Polka Dot Man. We do. I just couldn't kill Ratcatcher 2, so I relented. Now, I never thought Ratcatcher 2 would die. I thought she'd pretty much live. I actually would have loved that, you know, Peacemaker died instead. I really was kind of actually disappointed that he was still alive by the end of the whole thing. In which case, the Peacemaker series is going to be a sequel and not a prequel. But we'll see. Maybe the Peacemaker TV serial would be really awesome. Now let's talk about Bloodsport versus Superman. Now, Bloodsport did live in the Suicide Squad, but the one thing that was so interesting about him is his origin story in which case i want to know what happened to him how did he get in prison and what was the deal with him shooting superman or putting him in the icu i i really wanted to see a small little scene maybe henry cavill could show up and get shot i don't know just for him to be in the movie that would be great we never got that it was just in passing it was just one dialogue line but it just elba talks about hey what about a prequel uh but i did know that you know he was uh, the first guy to, you know, put Superman in hospital because he shot Superman. And, and that's why he's in jail. And that was very intriguing and also became a little bit of a motivation in some of my scenes and my character development. Idris, what would you like to see Bloodsport do next? It wouldn't be next, it would be what came before i would be really interested you know to see why he went to jail why did he shoot superman i would love to see that narrative come alive i would totally love to see a prequel to that that would be pretty awesome or at least maybe a sequel where we actually get to see superman versus the suicide squad or something like that and maybe they have a flashback to an actual scene where he shoots superman and maybe superman holds a little bit of a grudge you know because he's all evil he doesn't hold back and he takes on blood sport that would be pretty sick. Let's talk about James Gunn still in the DC villain verse. Now, James Gunn has toyed with different ideas of what he's going to do next, and it's going to be a little bit because he has to do Guardians of the Galaxy 3. But he did mention that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is going to be his last Guardians movie and possibly his last Marvel movie. Do you do you see that as your final like swan song Guardians, maybe last Marvel project? Yeah. Wow. But yeah, okay. I don't know, you know, the last Marvel project, who knows? But last, it's, it's, uh, I see it as my last Guardians movie. I'm a guy who never says never because I've seen too many people say never and be pulled back into the fray. So For I sure. won't say that, but I see it as being my last Guardians movie. I know Dave sees it as being his last Guardians movie. And Dave and I are pretty much attached to the hip on those projects. So, um, I don't, you know, I don't see me going on and doing any more after that. So according to him, it's going to be all in on DC. But he reveals that he's not quite done with the DC villain verse. Do you think we could get another Suicide Squad movie? Yeah, I think it's possible. You know, Suicide Squad or even taking somebody from the Suicide Squad and doing something with them individually or a couple of them or whatever. I, I have all sorts of ideas and we talk about it all the time. So 
I, I don't feel like I'm done with this villain verse yet. Which makes sense because it sounds like he'd rather be working on obscure characters, bringing these characters that no one has ever heard about, and leaving the big heroes for somebody else. People are like, well, why didn't you do Superman or Justice League or whatever? And I'm like, I just really found this to be the most creatively fulfilling story. And, you know, I know someone's going to do a Superman movie again. I don't know that Polka Dot Man is ever going to get his story told if I don't tell it. So oh boy. there you go. So <laughs> I need to tell his story. I need to tell Ratcatcher's story, you know, and I've sort of made my career off of telling the stories of the characters that people don't think they're going to have their stories told but have something magical to me about them. Let's talk about Justice League versus the Suicide Squad. Now even though Warner Bros is pushing him to do Superman and some people are asking to do Justice League, you know, maybe later on could potentially do one, do a Justice League versus the Suicide Squad. In fact, this is what he had to say when someone asked him if he would want to do that. I have to think about that. I haven't put any thought into a Suicide Squad versus Justice League movie, but it's not a bad idea. Gunn told CNA Lifestyle when asked about a potential crossover between the two Warner Brothers DC franchises. But I think I gotta figure out who the Justice League is first because I have no clue. I'm here in the middle of DC and people are always asking me, is Henry Cavill still Superman? I don't know who Superman is. Who knows? I have the same feeling. Uh, most of us do too. I know we've been getting reports and insiders saying that Henry Cavill is going to be back either in a black suit or a red and blue suit or in this movie or that movie. But until we actually see him in a movie, I mean, we're still kind of not comfortable that he's still going to be on as Superman. I have high hopes though. But he's right. By the time he gets to come back or eventually do that, is it going to be the same Justice League? Is it going to be a different Justice League? I don't know. And I hope it is the same Justice League. I hope that these characters from the first Justice League continue on being those characters later on. And seemingly so. I mean, Ezra Miller is coming back as The Flash. Ben Affleck's coming back as Batman. Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. And of course, Jason Momoa is Aquaman. Speaking of Jason Momoa as Aquaman, let's talk about Justice League 2. He actually she talks a little bit about Justice League 2, and though this is more tongue-in-cheek, it is still interesting. When Sinba Bland asked if he was interested in Justice League 2, he said this, I think they're waiting for me to direct it. They're basically waiting for Warner Brothers to call me up and say, Jason, I love you. I love what you guys are doing. Love the movie. I love Sweet Girl. Hey, let's get Brian Mendoza. Let's get Jason Momoa to produce and direct the new Justice League. Sounds like, you know what, guys? We're in. And yeah, it just sounds like he's playfully saying that, but it is kind of true. You know, all these actors nowadays are having their own production companies and they're actually pitching ideas with their production company. I mean, look at Margot Robbie with Lucky Chap. Jason Momoa absolutely does have his own production company now. So I'm thinking maybe there is such a way that he could possibly say, hey, you know, you guys aren't pitching anything. I want to produce a Justice League movie. I'm in Aquaman. I'm in Dude, Aquaman Lost Kingdom. You know, he's got a lot of pull, maybe. So we'll see about that. But it's great to hear that he's still invested in Justice League, Justice League 2 possibly, and more talk about Justice League 2 would be great. Come on, Warner Brothers, green light Justice League 2. But don't forget about Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3 over on HBO Max.